This is a vintage linen, I guess, button up that I got a few summers ago. It's like nice and oversized, cropped. Um, but one thing I suggest people to do whenever they're buying vintage pieces, always look at your buttons. Almost all of these, the stitching is coming out. So I'm going to reset all these buttons because I know the way I do buttons, they're not gonna fall off ever. A lot of the times when you're buying a garment, they're not tied off your buttons. Um, they're just kind of sewn through so many times and that's how they basically lock in the stitch. When I do my buttons, I physically tie them off. There is a knot and then I stitch through a few times. Um, so I know I'm not gonna lose my buttons. I would just pull this, yeah, look, you just pull it and the whole button comes off. I can't tell you, like, that is terrible. It's a shame that buttons are done this way. I guess it's the easiest way to really do them on a large scale, but I have a lot of techniques that I've developed. Like I lock in my stitches and stuff. These are just things I've developed over the years because I've been sewing pretty much my whole life. So I know how to navigate around these things, but. Okay, just set my camera up at a better angle because I feel like the lighting's better. It's more direct here, but um, it does take quite a bit of time to replace the buttons, um, especially because I do it all by hand. Um, it is a very, it's a simple fix, but it's a, a tedious one. You know, you want you want all your stitching to match. Like, you want that to be a continuity, and I do every single button the same way. It's in the details, um, things like this. You just want things to be uniform. Because let's say you, you can sew an X, like this, this button has four little holes, so you could do like an X, you could do like a box, but I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do what the top one has. If you look, there's like, the stitching's just vertical. It doesn't go horizontal, it just goes vertical. And I'm going to um, continue that pattern with all my buttons. And I dropped it. Okay, I found it. I also count the number of stitches in each one and do the same thing. Um, I think I'm gonna end up doing four through each side. Okay, and that's how I'm gonna do all my buttons. You can see what I mean about the vertical stitching. And there's four stitches within each side. And now, like, normally a button would just be, it would just be sewn up and down, up and down, up and down to lock the stitch, but I physically tie it off. I just feel better about it, and I've never lost a button that I've stitched on myself. Okay, all the buttons are secure, and they are not going anywhere. I'm glad I did that because it didn't look like it came with any, um, many spares. Usually they're sewed in down here, so. Uh, maybe I'll just throw it on and show you how I'd wear it real quick. Yeah, so. Second from the top button is all I would do. And then I'd wear it with like black linen pants. A real breezy look for the summertime. Or I would tie it up. But now I can feel really secure. And know that this baby ain't gonna fly open when I'm only using one button. <laughs> That's another reason why I check all my buttons too, because I tend to just wear things like this. So, yeah, a little tip, check your buttons when you're vintage shopping or before you wear it, because you don't need to be caught out and about with a, a nip slip or something. <laughs> Lack of a better term. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I plan on sharing more 
garment tips and things like that all like consolidated into one video but um i just kind of like to post things as things come along like tonight i was trying on some clothes and i was like oh this button needs to be sewed let me make a little video about this but i'm already looking at the time here and just to sew five buttons it took me half an hour so it seems like a simple quick thing but it really isn't um sewing buttons takes a lot of time but I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.